Hello everybody, this is Mumsy. And I'm Moxwell. And we are going to continue playing Life is Strange. We are in episode two, which is called Out of Time. We're at the junkyard. And we'll get started, see what happens. Last last time we played, we spent most of our time in the diner. Yeah, I remember the diner. It, I remember the diner, and that's when I really started to get a feel for how this whole thing was working. But that's because I don't know anything about these games. I'm slowly learning. But you were able to make different decisions, and that would... That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Yeah, now we've got a gun, though. How do we get a gun? Oh, that Chloe Chloe's gun. Rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super-sized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. What does she mean by super-sized? Um, the superpowers. Like power? Okay. After yesterday, I'm kind of over guns, Chloe. <sighs> Freaks me out that you have one. You had asked me like how typical this game is for an RPG. It's fairly untypical. Don't be scared of my little toy. Well, I was wondering if it was me having a hard time getting into it. I mean, if yuck, me having a hard time getting into it would meant would mean that I'm gonna have a hard time getting into any RPG. Mm. I I'm not sure. Most RPG games don't put well uh, most games in general don't put this much emphasis on the story and the relationships that you have with characters most most rpg games are like let's get badass and fight some stuff well, see that's another thing that that i'm experiencing with this game and the ones we've played previously is I i'm wondering why am i not really sympathizing that much with these characters Mm. Or getting into who they who they are and the rightness or wrongness of their choices, and I'm just wondering if it's because, like with books, which is of course what I grew up reading, you can you can make up who the character is, you what the character looks there. like. That just Rest is in your head. What they how they respond, their physical characteristics. With this, it's like I'm forced to, that washing machine. to see her as she is, but she's not really real. She's not like watching a movie. Yeah, yeah, and and the dialogue can get a little forced and awkward in places. Well, I mean, that can happen in a movie, too, if it's not a good movie. That's but I think true. the main thing is the visual, and I, I am going to theorize that it's not as much an issue for your generation who grew up kind of play in these games and get used to them as it is for me personally just because my frame of reference is books where my mind that makes a lot of sense the character my, the physical aspects of the character i bet i can find out more about rachel here we did find something interesting though we found that um we found like rachel's hideout so like okay, rachel Rachel's had racked up a bunch of dart games i guess I don't even remember this. No, this is new. This is new. Oh, okay. How did we know that about Rachel? We just found, we just stumbled upon like Rachel oh. and Chloe's hideout. Okay. Okay. I thought you meant it happened in the previous that kinda hurts. time we played. So here are your choices of things you can make up. I'm wondering if at some point we're going to become a little more intuitive about which choices to make mm. that get us on past. I want to die. Oh boy. Jeez. Not good. Not good. Who wrote this? Oh, there you are, little bottle. Trying to play hide and seek. Okay, so we found a bottle because we're going to shoot at it. Hello, bottle number one. One more to go. Okay, so that's why she's in there to find a bottle to now shoot we're at. A yeah. Geo. We just have to find Rachel. That's not that. What was that? So Rachel did go to a vortex. In my mind, and I'm probably this flyer is dated right before she disappeared. 
information. It's real unusual to see a couple of girls. Hanging out with guns and stuff? I don't know if that's just my generation thing or if, if that's I think something. it's fairly unusual. Um, okay. I, I mean, I... I not that it should playing be. With, well, no, playing with, let's be real. Playing with guns is bad. Don't play with guns, right? Okay. No people, adults or children, I should play guns with guns. They're not sure. toys. Not. Certainly not out in the open like this. Yeah. Um, I'm tripping hard about where you got this rewind power. From God or the gods. So, bow. We can make the world <laughs> bow. Are you ready for that? Yeah, no way. I feel like, yeah. Oh, yes. Once I figure out exactly how my power works, a god must doth know these things. Amen. And while you build an empire, I'm there to keep you on the path of badassness. And fun. Spin, rinse, and repeat. I'm just altering time and space. Oh, yeah, and history. <laughs> no biggie. You already altered history by saving my life, smartass. Let's see what else you can do. Gun shells. Those shells look yep. fresh. Oh, you can't pick them up. Well, we can look. What are we supposed to do now? I thought she was looking for a bottle. We found the bottle. Were you supposed to pick it up? We got it, yeah. Okay. I do like the really impressionistic um, visuals in this game. What do you mean by that? Like, just, um, just like a lot of it looks like a Monet painting. Okay, now right there where she dropped that bottle, I went, <gasps> you know, I gasped like I would do if I were saw a real bottle. Right. Dropped. Yeah, let's put it back. Is there a better way to do this? To just not get it at all. Um, in an old refrigerator. Doesn't look like it. You have to take the bottle to move on. Oh, look, we're gonna move the crate. Ah, see, that's what I was talking about. Making some better decisions, get us through this quicker. Okay, there we Is go. It late there? there you go. We now have two go. bottles. Boom. Only three bottles left. Oh, we have to find five bottles. Okay, I didn't even know that. This game doesn't do a great job of signposting how to yeah. make the story move forward. Okay. I wonder if the journal tells us that. Because we haven't really played, um, paid that much of attention That's true. to the journal. Dude is talk talking to us. Um... Doesn't seem like we have There's not really a that quest log. It just seems strange to me that they go to the, all the trouble to have that board with all of those notes on it and then it not really amount to much. I think that it's what it's for is three down, two more to go. To give you information so that you can go back and remember all a lot of very specifics. Wow. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. The of same the characters, the same dough. Dough. This dough. That oh, dough is the perfect dough is in deer. <laughs> what? Right. My rewind power doesn't work on her. I don't get it. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. All right, so the deer is immune to rewinding. That is weird. What does that mean? I don't know. Can't imagine. Can't you know just how frustrating it is to be in a junkyard and not be able to find any bottles? That just doesn't seem right. <laughs> <laughs> yep, take a picture, definitely. You can see the dough is kind of see-through, though. You can see through the dough! What the heck? How far can we go chasing this thing? I think we need to continue chasing it. Looks like there's a wall here. We, yeah, we can't move past here. Okay. 
Well, she's definitely not in the junkyard anymore. No. But we are boxed in. Oh, there we are again. Don't you know that place stinks? Probably does. I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. Oof. I think most video games don't deal with such heavy themes. Yeah. They just, I mean, they don't approach them, right? I mean, you're hacking people's legs off, right, in a lot of video <laughs> games, right? And just like, oh, there's no problem. That that guy didn't, it's just a... I don't want to go that No way. emotions, no morals, yeah. Well, I mean, I think that, you know, you can... Look, I mean, there was a period in time where people fought each other a lot, and there were moral considerations to make in that context. Um, but we do, we certainly don't think about them as like right and wrong today. Oh, boo! Oh, She remembers, she rewinds, she remembers when she had to do this. I think that she does, yeah. So we got a bottle. We got one bottle to go. Yeah. I think part of what makes this story a little hard to pick up the thread is there's no central antagonist. Yeah. I think for me it's just that you run into this stuff, you have no idea what you're supposed to choose. Mm. Once you choose it, it's either right or wrong and you rewind if it's wrong. Mm. And, and you might have to, I, I think in that diner we had to re, rewind several times to get to the place where we could move forward. Yeah, I, that's that's true. It did take us a long time, and I, I, I enjoyed it. Yeah. I, I don't think it's something. Wait a minute! There was something to look at there. Look. It's the gun shells. The shells look fresh. Oh. Okay. It's not. Oh look! There, give me the bottle. The shooting range while you look for some bottles. You've got a bottle, you jerk. Give me that one. That's my Chloe. Video game. Really? Um. No, I, I, I enjoy the kind of like little mini games that pop up in this. Yeah. And that could be the difference between actually doing it and... Yes, I think you're absolutely right. I don't want to go that way. No way! I totally remember going there when I was a kid. I loved the Hush Puppies. Now the sign is just... This is the same area of the world where... That David Lynch TV show takes place, right? Was it in Seattle? Yeah. He was in the Pacific Northwest. Portland, yeah. This is Seattle, though, I think, isn't it? I think it's like outside of Seattle or something. Okay. I wonder why the developers chose this setting. I've wondered that, too, and... Maybe they're just familiar with it. Mm. That's where they're from. Maybe they visited there and really liked it. I think the company that made this is actually Japanese. Where there's a boat, there's a pirate, which means well, bottles. They could find a lot of information about Seattle if they've never been there. It's true. And it would be easy for them to get there if they wanted to visit. It is closer. I yeah, I don't know what goes into that kind of thing behind video game. That would be really interesting to talk to somebody who develops video games to find out why, what led them to come up with all of the little ins and outs of a particular game. I know that the quality assurance testing on video games is very rigorous. Really? Yeah, well, I, just you don't know that walking to a certain place is going to break the game. 
And so that you have to map out the whole game and map out as many possibilities as you can think yeah. of and then try to break it. Sit. It's so quiet. I hope she'll see it. Real out here. See your um, bottle. bottle. Yeah, they said it was near the pirate ship. I don't even see a boat though. I saw a boat. You didn't see the boat? No. There was a big boat, and I don't know where, somewhere around there. Oh, it's over there. Oh, it's on the other side. Okay. Okay. How do we... Stop, 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 stop! Stop, 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 stop! Where there's a boat, there's a pirate. Which means booze bottle. What did you do? Are I your pirate? Here's one boat. That's not the one I remember. You you remember this one? No. Oh. It's a different one. It was more than that, like a like a boat you would go fishing on. Hmm. Wonder why I can't see it. I don't know. Do you remember puddles, um, mud puddles? Because it was near some puddles, and I thought that was kind of interesting. That oh, here's puddles. Yeah, it's here's, not there. Here's, here's an overturned boat. There. Yep. Yep. Here's a little puddle. Here's a car. I won't Chloe just give us hers. No, Chloe. Another thing that that I I kind of have a feeling of tenseness about with this is how long it takes to get, like how long it has taken Where to get these the five bottles. In the back of my head, I'm thinking Chloe's not gonna, she's gonna get really impatient, which obviously yeah, yeah. is not really a part of this game because. Chloe's just going to wait for as long as Chloe needs to wait and doesn't right. care. Right. But I'm thinking, got to do this fast because I know in real life, somebody wouldn't be hanging around waiting on me this long. Right. So no boat over here, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure I saw one. It seems to say it when we walk past this area. Not saying it. No, she's not. Where did I see that thing? Nope, I, no, I guess don't it want is. to go there. Come on, come on. Maybe it was one of the boats that you pointed out. It could have been that one. Got a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. Doesn't look like there's a bottle. Where there's a boat, uh -huh. there's a pirate, which means uh, there's bottles. Ah, uh, that's not true. She said it around this boat this time, at least. She did say it around that boat. This got moved, remember? There was a bottle up there. There was, but you already got it. There's yeah, no something, bottle. somehow the crate got moved without us losing the bottle. Oh. Um, why don't you do a quick little internet search for uh, Life is Strange boat bottle? I'll keep looking for it. Okay. Life is Strange Bottle Locations. How to find all five junkyard That's bottles. That's right. That's what we want. Okay. 
So let me go find the one near the boat. F B O A T. From the one bottle is resting on a boat in the middle of the junkyard. One bottle is resting on a boat in the middle of the junkyard. Hmm. You'd think we would have seen it by now. I'm going to send you a picture so you can um, tell which one it is. Where there's a boat, there's a pirate, which means booze bottles. How do you send a memo? Well, what are you sending okay. it to? I'm sending it to this the Skype thing. Oh, I found the bottle. Okay. Don't need to send the message. How do we get up there? Wow, well, didn't say that. I'm trying to figure out. Oh, here we go. Wait, I just lost you. Why did that happen? Just lost me in Skype. Oh, here you go. Yeah, but you're back. There's no stairs oh, leading up here. It's like the back of that. That's the boat I was yeah. talking about. Yeah. It's the back of that boat. I just saw the word bottle. There it is. See it? Look up. Yeah, I see it. I see it. I just can't figure out how to get up there. Oh. Chair. That's not, that's not one of the first boats that you pointed at. That's more like a fishing boat than those other boats, isn't it? It is. Well, where was it? I wasn't watching where you were going. Um, it's like behind Chloe, I think. Okay. Or it's to the side of Chloe. Hey, Chloe, get over here and... There's a pirate. Oh, gosh. Which means pirate. Oh, oh, God. How do you get up there? Um. I feel like I go this way, but it won't let me. Walk up there. I mean, I've walked around this thing several times. And there's no way to get up into uh, nothing, it. Nothing that I see. Oh, I bet I know what it is. I bet we jump. I bet we go to this other side and then jump. That's a pretty good jump. Oof. I don't want to go that way. Oh, okay. We don't go that way. Starting to get a little nauseous. <laughs> you going around too many circles? Yeah. What is that? Oh, gunshot. Well, let me go back to my Google search and see if I it got says it. I figured it out. Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. You gotta walk the plank. Yeah. Voila. Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. Okay, so that told us that the clues are there. Just a little persistence. You'll find them and you'll figure out Thanks, the way Max. to get into them. And I think that that's one of the nice things about video games. Do they always give you clues like that? Mm, not always, but they Wait, do the set you up with a challenge that you know you can take on. Okay. Well, this, this. in the beginning, We're I was thinking, there are no clues. You are completely on your own. And then last week, I started to see to how, what the, that there were clues and how you could start figuring things out. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. Um. Do you know, let, let's stop here and talk about how dangerous it I is to Chloe shoot at stuff in an open field like that. It's absurd, right? 
Because somebody walking beyond them that they can't see could get that bullet. Or ricochet. Yeah, ricochet right on them. Um, okay, up. Aim slightly above. Target in sight. So we need, she needs to aim to the right. It's not my fault. You have to really pay attention to guide me. Well, this isn't making sense to me. Why does Max have to guide Chloe? I'm not exactly sure. That's not usually how gun, gun firing a gun works. Right. Sir, yes, sir. See that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Okay, so she needs to aim up this time. Um. Are you ha are you being given those choices that Max is now, Max? Like? Yeah, so so remember it would and the, the main way that it does dialogue is you get like a you give like a bad answer and then you rewind and have like more information. Yeah. Give me something to shoot, Max. Aim at that old blue plank here. I hate old planks. Yawn. Look at okay. that fan up there. Did you see it? What fan? The um, upper left. Hello. What should I shoot? Yeah, it's hard. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now. That was so dangerous. Nice shooting, this is Nick. like nervous, even though it's just about. all cartoon. Satisfied? <laughs> like never. So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? I want to see that windshield go down. I bet it's gonna hit somebody. Nope. You guys better run for really need to. Are you rewinding? Yeah. Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Gas tank. Let's see what happens when you shoot Ooh. the gas tank. Do it. Step back. Gas tank go boom. Started a fire. Yep. Boom! Wow, that's... Down, but no bottle casualties. Feels good, but I didn't hit any of the bottles. Okay, so that's not what's supposed to happen. Interesting. Well, you, it, you certainly yeah, don't want it to happen. Can you go back further? Nope. It's not going to let you rewind to where the fire started? Nope, not right now, Feels at least. Feels good, but I didn't hit any of the bottles. There you go. Dude, I Don't do the back gas tank. Uh, the bumper? Put a real yeah. dent in that front bumper. Goodbye, cruel bumper. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> I shot myself! Ugh, I shot myself! Back up! Exactly back up, what you were saying was Hold on, Chloe. Really funny. Well, Max? How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Wow. Uber cool. I cannot believe oh, this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max!
we started out with. You freaked me out there. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. <laughs> Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I'd rather go chat up Chloe. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo. Max is afraid. I know you can handle this. And I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Who's this Ooh. person? I don't know. It's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough. What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Shoot, don't shoot. Don't shoot. Come on, girly. Shoot me. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. It's a pretty good reference. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. What a jerkwad. This guy's a real criminal. Yeah, he's bad. I freaked. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. And there are more guns out there. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Oh, man. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. Well, well sort of. You can't exactly shoot him, honey. That was not an option. Well, sir, why did Frank have Chloe's waiting to go for a walk? We both need a time out from here. I can't believe you basically gave him my gun. Here you go, Frank. You can't keep getting mad at me, especially for stupid shit. I'm not mad. It adds up in my mind as people letting me down. And I just liked having that gun, man. Now you have me to protect you. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Maybe now we've got an, a real like a antagonist. Maybe. Stay forever. Seems like it's taken a while to get there, though. Mm-hmm. 
Can we also, they're laying down on train tracks. Boo. The world out. <laughs> we need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? I'm freaked out, Frank? Question mark. I'm freaked out. I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, are you for reals? Frank just took your gun and threatened us. He's armed and clearly dangerous. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer, where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out, bad boy? I have a different question for you. Sure. Is, like, marijuana and drugs that prevalent in high school that just anybody can get them? I think it depends on the high school. Okay. That's kind of... Hung out, right. bad boy? <laughs> yeah, um, hung out, bad boy. Go we'll go with bad boy? Yeah. Is this your bad boy phase? No, it's my trying to scrounge some quick cash so Rachel and I could get the hell out of here phase. Frank had quick cash, that's all. That's it? No, I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? My brain is fried, be careful. Be careful? I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens. And it's like no time is Tweens, that's not a phrase young people use, at least I don't think. About themselves? Yeah. Rachel and I, or why? I didn't hear the question. Me neither. Okay, Rachel and I. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the beat poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Ooh, more pictures. Perfect. <sighs> This storm doesn't really, like, emotionally resonate with me. It's okay. weird. It it's is like really it weird. Stop, stop. Okay. Uh-oh. Why is she stuck? Something's stuck. Her boot or something. Take the boot off! The train. Oh, <gasps> shit. Um, Take the boot off. Gotta find some stuff to work with. Oh, well, I hope this doesn't take long. Oh, it's gonna take us forever. Oh, here's a here's the switch. Okay, so she um, switches it and then kills a million people because another train's coming the other direction. Switch. Um, I need to pull the switching lever right now. I better find the tool to cut those wires. Oh, great. Perfect. How, how is cutting the wires going to help? I don't know. I'm going to stop the train. Where's the, uh... The where the... Coming. I mean, shush. Shush. Max, get me out of here! Where's the cutting instrument? Oh, push it. Damn, something is blocking the drum. <laughs> this is so funny. Okay. We have to use our time to find the cable cutters. 
What's do we need? We don't need that drum. Mm, I don't know. See, that confuses me about this game. It like introduces stuff that have no bearing on the game. I guess it's just like decoys. Crowbar? Take the crowbar. I can definitely use this bad boy. Okay, so we have a crowbar. Please give me up! Um, Gosh. Stop the sauntering and run. Get blocked by this bush. There you go. Max! Where's the switches? Oh, it's over here. Open. And I can't do anything? Alright, let's back up again. Okay, so we've got crowbar. Maybe we go in here with the crow. Okay, we, okay, we crowbar our way in. Ah, there we go. That's what the crowbar is for. Okay, so what do we find in here? Come on, come on. Crowbar, open. Okay, nada. Okay, take. Ooh, the there we go. Take Far better. Take them. Now I can pull a total MacGyver. In the fuse box. The train's coming. We know the train's coming. Pliers. Uh, green, yellow. Whoa. Short circuit city. Don't you feel like you need to do this really quickly? Sort of. Um. I mean, I I have to admit I'm I am actually getting into this. Stupid light. Like. No go. Shit. Um, I know it's artificial, right? Like, I, and I, I've kind of trained myself to think about it as artificial, and like I know that I have a lot of time. I know, and it was seeming artificial to me before, and now it, it still seems artificial. But I'm just sort of on the edge of my seat here. But which wire to cut? How about green? Well. Huzzah! You okay? So Chloe's almost died twice. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Damn. That was close. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? Okay, so our lesson for cool the day, kids. Yes. Don't, don't play with guns and don't play around trains. Don't play superhero? around the train track. Be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Aww. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? I doubt it. Um, I'd say explain what? Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? What do you know, uh? Uh. Uh, it means shit happens, right? No, crazy shit happens. Because it can. And will. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. 
They're right, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was the second episode. Or no, it's still the second episode. Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought that was ending. Maybe it is ending. Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wondering. So, are you going to that Vortex Club party? Into the world party. Vortex Club party. What's the where do, where do we want to go? Let's go to the Vortex Club. These elite assholes throw a lot of big parties. Another chance for Nathan Prescott to dose somebody. I said, well, obviously she doesn't want that. Max, can we talk? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? Yes, no. Well, there's no right answer here, is it? Yes. Yes, it was. You know that marijuana is almost legal in Oregon. I can get it at Blackwell. Are you going to bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you. But it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. You treat Kate Marsh bad. What about Kate? What about Kate? What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take Zing. more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Hmm. Move on. I saw Victoria and her friends shopping for the party. Hmm. Dude, this guy drives me crazy. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. You have so you to can't talk to help me, me. I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Is that Kate? You yeah. don't understand mine. Nobody does. You want to talk to her? Uh, is that a possibility? Uh, maybe. If we follow her. Didn't she say she was going to talk to a the principal about something? Thought so. Yeah. And we didn't think that he would believe her. I can't remember where we ended all that. She's not interacting with us. Okay. Fine. Interesting. Maybe we should talk to the teacher? <sighs> yeah, definitely. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. David Madsen, never mind. Hey, David Madsen. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max, I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video. Everybody knows Kate is freaked out. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. That's why I wanted to see you. 
Kate is being humiliated daily. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, no. Yes? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Rachel was nothing like Kate. The principal oh, this said guy's... you had something on your mind you wouldn't <laughs> tell him. You care to share? Nathan with a gun, not now. Nathan with the gun. Who's Nathan? I forgot. Remember the guy at the very beginning that killed oh, Chloe? Yeah, yeah. Yes. I saw Nathan with a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. I was too scared to go to Principal Wells. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello. In the middle of this important conversation with a, you know, a student and oh, cell phone. So just go into class and I'll be there soon. Huh? Make me beautiful, Hayden. Vogue, Vogue, Vogue. Tina, you are. I have a desk. The time. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? But these people are sitting at my de our desk, huh? You look like no time to talk, Max. Posing in problem, Mr. Jefferson. Like he gives a shit. Like anybody does. Max is such a little. No time to talk, Max. Think she can hear us. Who's whispering about us? These people? Oh, it's Nathan and Victoria. Ah. Talk to Nathan. Talk to Victoria. Yeah. Go on. Nathan. Here comes the mysterious Max, disguised as a pixie hipster. Like all the other precious twee artists here. You really nailed me. Meow! Bring out the claws. I love seeing chicks fight. Right. Can I sit at my table now? Max thought we were going to be buds. Fucking ha ha. <laughs> Woohoo. Assholes. I feel really bad for Kate Marsh. I do. Why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Homework. Okay. We're stuck in the, just like in real life. What up, man? There's the boy. Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier, and her eyes were puffy from crying. I mean, I don't think he's necessarily our boyfriend. Do we want him to be? I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me. I, I thought okay. they were dating. I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, <sighs> beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. We have a lot to cover today, and so little time. I mean, we're not like actively interacting I see with all him. The usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, people need something to judge so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're seeing Kiro Skiro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such Are you doing that? Visual. Yeah. It's basically in and yet. Need something to do. White images yep. are effective precisely because <laughs> of their contrasts. 
It's boring. Although we don't technically I know. see in Yo, some crazy shit is going down in the girl's dorm. Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remains seated. Except not. Except no. Dismissed. <laughs> Did Kate Marsh kill herself? I don't know. I, I hope bet she not. did. That would be weird. For a teenager's game, wouldn't that be weird? Oh, uh, she, well... No. She's like, getting, she's prepping to jump. A blam! Did you just do that? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, they just, they, they've managed to get me emotionally involved. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Um. So we're like in like a twilight world where it's all paused and stuff. Yeah, and for some reason it's hard for her to walk through it. Yeah. What well, it's just gotta take an immense amount of willpower. Yeah, because nobody else can move. Not even the rain is falling. Oh yeah. Kinda cool. They look like bullets to me, raindrops. Okay, so she's gonna go get Kate off of the roof? Yeah. She's just gonna banish, or you know. Yes. We screwed this up. Come on, say something. doing here max okay stop don't come near me not now it won't work i don't have any power now i have to do this by myself max seriously don't come near me i will jump okay okay i'm right here kate please oh max i know you want to help me i love that you stepped up to david but it doesn't matter now nothing matters Things will get better, you matter, not just to me. Things will get better. Don't worry, Kate. Things will get better. I promise. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. You're my friend, I'm here for you. You're my friend. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing! Gathering proof. Too dangerous for us. I wasn't sure. I needed more time. I'm gathering proof. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon. Then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So I want you to come with me now. Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Unless I put myself to sleep. 
Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Be strong. There are billions of video and videos everyone will forget. Everyone will forget. Nobody cares, Kate. There'll be another viral Victoria video in a day and everybody will forget. You can't scrub my video from the internet. And that's how I'll be remembered. Unless I jump. Kate, you can't do this to all the people who care about you. No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Your mother, your sisters, your father, your brothers. Your mother. What about your mother, Kate? You'll destroy her. She doesn't care about a video. She loves you. You don't know my mother at all. She already thinks Satan has me on the fast track to hell. Let's prove it. Jeez Louise. Can you back it up? Not, not exactly right now. Nope. Well, that's a little too intense for the younger crowd, I'd have to say. It's pretty intense. Is there a rating on this thing? I know this isn't pleasant for Um us, but we have to go over I'm not sure. And I don't I don't think that that would necessarily make it rank very high. She did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Push her. Did she tell you her plan? <laughs> or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. David Bollinger. Nathan Doster. Nathan Doster? We don't have proof. Who's Jefferson? Jefferson's a teacher. Gosh, that's tough. David, how about David bullied her? We're, we're concerned least about him. Mr. Madsen was bullying Kate. Oh, grow Excuse up. Excuse me, I was there. I saw you getting in her face. You have no idea what you saw. Kate Marsh was involved with a bad crowd. I was trying to find out who. Kate had a double life. I was super shocked when I found out. No, you were part of the crowd. And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little... Shh. Are you gonna take this junkie's word over your security officer? I know she smokes and deals what? marijuana. That has nothing to do with Kate. Max, I'm afraid this won't be solved here without proof and a thorough investigation. Now, if you have anything else to say... Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. We want to do a different... I need to read that statement. Well, it, the statement would just be, like, it's just confirming that we're putting the blame on 
Uh, David. Oh. The sooner I can get out of here. Do we want to confirm that, or do we want to back up? So if we backed up, we'd be going back to uh, what we tell the principal, which was the other options were Nathan drugged her, or mm -hmm. she was having a hard time in her class. Basically. So let's go back and see what those where those lead. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? Hey, that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Wait, Max. You told me that nothing happened yesterday. Are you just making things up? How can I trust you? You can't. She's smoking and selling dope, not saving lives. <laughs> no, I'm not. And that has nothing to do with Kate Marsh. I'll have to investigate to see if this accusation is true. Therefore, Max, I'm obliged to contact your parents and suspend you for it. That doesn't make any sense. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. They don't I'm I'm kind of put off by how serious this game is, but but how it doesn't really signpost what types of like what what level of thing is at stake. Yeah, we don't really know that, do we? You want to sign this one? What did she say? I missed some of that. Jeez. What was that one? This is this is where putting the blame on Nathan Prescott and some of our previous actions are. Um, Just sign this, and you're done with this episode. Um. And and, and it and we're kind of getting punished for not outing Nathan to the principal earlier. So does, does the principal believe us? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. I mean, do you I want to put the blame on David or Jefferson or Nathan? I'd, I'd really rather put it on Nathan. Okay. Well, because he did kill that Chloe. That's right. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. Wow. <laughs> I know. Okay, what's this? I just can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. I really thought I could save her. Like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Mm. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the 
hell is this? More strange weather. <gasps> it's an eclipse. Oh, it's an eclipse. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. But don't look at it. Well, it's, it's if it, you can look at the sun when it's really low in the horizon. I believe you will. Wow. I believe anything this week. Wow. Interesting. Hard to make sense of this one. Well, it, it's getting a little more intriguing. I tell you, when kids start dying, that's when I start getting interested in who they are. Okay, great. <laughs> I guess that's kind of bad. But, yeah. You know, I mean, it just didn't have that level of seriousness to it before. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, there's some parts that are like flipping. Like, like we had to make good decisions, or somebody get killed. I wonder if it's possible to like prevent her. F I'm sorry. To prevent her from what? 